All right, welcome back to week six of the season five of the Sully Nation League. I'm your play by play analyst, Joshua Gonzalez, and I'm joined here with Chris to watch game three of the Ghost Riders, sponsored by One Hop to Shop versus Panthers, sponsored by Chris Galco. And let me ask you a question What's your take on this game? Who do you think is going to take it? Really good team, too. The Panthers are making it work without Dom somehow. Uh, and the Ghost Riders, again, making it work without their number one pick either. I, I want to pick, I want to pick Tyson. the Panthers based on He's last on the week. Unless the Ghost Riders figure out to use Ryan as their second option here, with Trey not being out here. Ryan's a great player for them. One of their smartest players, the best shooter. If they can figure out a way to get him involved, they got a good chance against the Panthers uh, defense that I have not seen play here again, in spite of their offense. Chan is big. Panthers played pretty good ball last week, only lost by seven. Yep. But that was to Lafamilia, who this year are now going on a probably, tear. Probably the best team right now. Right. 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 They don't get Dallas involved too much. Not right. enough, anyway. Speaking of yeah. shot. Shot, yep, goes in. Yeah. Oh, he's a solid player. Very uh, good. If Dom ever does come back, you got Fritz Dallas. He's got, he's got a chance. He's got to figure it out this end of the floor. Yeah, and last week, Fritz and Corbin shined that game. Oh, here we go. And, 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 <laughs> and they call a foul. It's going to be on who? On Dallas? That's what happens when you make a shot, man. You just, you're a star now. And you can, Complain about every call that, you, that goes against you. <laughs> they get four timeouts. On 2K is good on the first. And Von 2K last game was kind of interesting. He scored 17 points, but let's see his shot attempt. Yeah, we uh, held him to 17 five points. 13 points. 13 attempts. Yep, on 13 attempts, he was 5 of 13. He, um, we had a good game plan against him. We knew he didn't have much help. And uh, we just had to jump everything. You know, right. We made it hard. We have the we have the defensive identity for that. Right. So the Panthers, the Panthers can emulate that. Uh, and on top of the rebound, uh, they should be able to figure out a game to win. Well, there's Trayvon. Oh, that's against Never mind. They win this game. Panthers later. <laughs> Corbin gives up the three. Gets a foul instead. You know, they did a good job last week. Just Foul on who, Flay? He's consistent. Who's six? Like you know, he scores Ryan. points here and there, does the more important stuff as well. Yeah, he's just um, a good player, especially going yes. downhill. Uh, he made a few three-pointers last week, which is extra for him. So if right. he's in the shot, then you're having a good game for him. But yeah, if he gets the opportunities, you're not going to get much out of him defensively. Keep him engaged offensively. He'll hook the difference. Oh, Dallas gets the rebound and makes it. Great job, Dallas. Oh, and Dallas is, yeah, he's starting to That's heat up here. Okay. Can't think you get their key players started early here. Oh, here comes Vaughn. That was another thing. There, there was, oh, he's grabbing his glory. It looks like he stretched something there or got hit. One of the two. Uh-oh. It's just, they're just going to drive right by. Corbin with another layup. It, 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 it looks like it looks like Vaughn got hurt. I don't know if he, I don't know if he got it. I don't know if he got Draymond Green or <laughs> the injury timeout, Sway. Or if he stretched something. Yeah. We got a we got a ref timeout here for injury timeout. Hey, oh. we got the bucket, bucket. Nah, yeah. It's delayed. It's delayed. I put it in. It's delayed. But prior to that, it was a pass to Axel that went out of bounds. And honestly, Axel didn't really play that well last week. He scored zero on all, across all boards. You know, I just took my horn, but uh, I took the challenge last week of playing big man for us. And I took the assignment of Axel, and I knew that if I took him out of the game, rebounding wise, and everything else should fall into place. Yeah, if he's not rebounding, he's not really involved in the game, uh, unfortunately for him. So Which it worked out that read. way and helped out again in conjunction with what we did on Vaughn. That's how we were able to get a victory last week. Yeah, no, that was that was a great read. You guys took him out of the game, and it really did pay its dividends because you had that that team chemistry between him and Chan, which they famously now call Chaxel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, it Chaxel kind of it kind of broke that chemistry, and it really forced Vaughn to try to save the game. But oh, and it goes in for two K Vaughn that time, or Vaughn two K. My bad. 
<laughs> he got hit in the groin. Here comes Fritz. Oh, that's the sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. And that's the Fritz you want to see. The one who's attacking the rim, not settling. He's bigger than most people. He can anywhere he wants on the floor. And he plays a really good inside game. As well as outside game. Oh, that's a bad pass. Oh, Sean saves it, but Dallas gets the steal. Fritz hits a jumper. Fritz. He denied himself an opportunity to get a foul and one at the, at the basket. Yeah, they I get the shot really went bad. in, but you, these are habits you don't want to develop over the course of the season. You want to play smart. Yeah, play smart. Go get a foul on them. Go hit your free throws. Oh, see, and that's the thing. And, and Ghost is playing it smart. So I'm going to attack. I'm going to go get fouls on their best players. Because in the long run, if you're in foul trouble late in the game, you're not going to uh, The like, lay is like, really bad. Right. Right. I was just trying to tell Fadi. What, what do you have on there? It's 15 10. It's still going, though. Yeah, 15 Okay, so the score is 11 to 3. It's 11 to 3. 11 to three. Good shot there, by the <laughs> And uh, honestly, the Panthers are getting, getting started. Uh, they're starting to heat up here quick. Ghost Riders' best players checked in with Treyway. They, they, were, they were missing last game. Yeah, they were missing last game. Yeah. It, uh, it definitely would have changed our game plan a bit. Uh, it probably would have been a closer game. I still believe in us to get that win. That's a push by Chan. Yeah, because I was watching the tape, and usually when... I was watching tape, and usually when Vaughn can't hit, they pass it to Trayvon, and then Trayvon's the one who cleans it up. See, the thing is, Trayvon, it reminds me a lot of Westbrook and KD. Now, obviously, not NBA level, but just in the way that Trey efficiently gets his points. He's real calm, he's not aggressive, he's not trying to yell for the ball or anything, whereas Vaughn's got that Westbrook alpha dog mentality. And they work together in that sense offensively. Oh, yeah. And Trey's like, I'll get my points secretly. I, I can, exactly. At the end of the day, wherever I want. Like, Any exception. Yeah. Yeah. I'll live with that. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a wide open. Let him get warm up. Yeah. He wasn't here last week. You know, let him warm up. Get used to it again. Oh, here comes Fritz. Oh. Uh oh See, that's another thing. Now Fritz is dealing with Trey defensively. Trey's not a small guy. Either. Really not, no. Ish taking it up and doesn't get it. That was Ish's game all, all like throughout this whole season. Oh, oh! Wow. Great pass there. They are moving at high rates of speed, man. Oh my goodness. What you got going on with this, bro? <laughs> we just gotta hit free throws, man. Another game where we lose, we lose, uh, we lose the game by as many points as we miss free throws. Trey away with the free throw here. And that was free throw. And we were actually talking about that during your guys' game. We were actually talking about the free throws, how they're going to be detrimental in that game in particular. Yep. Um, but it was, it was, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's easier than it looks, I feel. Um, it's easier said than done right. to do what you guys need to do to come back and play that game. Which was force the turnovers and then convert. But it was just so hard for you guys to convert. But we're not rebounding either. I mean, you right. have to defend that many times. That's, that's why we're tired. Yeah, so you're, you're playing double the defense. Yeah. It's Dallas, Dallas takes a three. Can't hit. Somebody's got to take the shot to Don would have. That's a good pass by Ghost. He's got to go up and there. Trayvon. Yeah, Trayvon's pretty good. And, and, no, you, and that, that brings up the point. Dominic Johnson is going to be out till like the mid or earlier mid March, is what he said. So, what did you just do? Did you just slap the camera? I was watching the Dean is elevated on the step ladder. <laughs> we gotta make sure our cameraman catches the <laughs> catches the action. Goblin Capper, De Niro gets the finish. Captain over here, delin being a delinquent as Gene finishes a floater. <laughs> I really like Gene's game. Uh, he's a great point guard. If they get him in a pick and roll situation, they don't do it enough. He's actually a really smart guard. Who can see. And I like the way he plays defense. He plays he's up close. Yeah, this is how you oh, there it behind. is. Steve the Kid bringing the ball down. He has a teammate in the corner. Gene. It does, yep. Gene, one more time. Oh, there goes Gene. 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 Oh,
goes to Kayvon. He's a little bit faster than Fritz. And he gets the foul. Fritz says, God damn it. Huh? Fritz says, God damn it. <laughs> Vaughn gets fouled on that shot. Fritz, you That's another yeah, on that last one, if I'm Steve, there's no reason to dribble with three more times. Just pick the ball up, keep running the floor. At the end of the day, the defense can't react, but the pass is a little late. You lose an opportunity in transition that you're probably going to need over the ball. You know what I think that was? I think he really didn't want to finish. But he saw it was too late. The defender was closing in, and then he decided as a bailout. Yeah, maybe. If you get a, that's the thing about these teams. If you just, just make the makes the whole game much better for you. You got a better chance to win. Just make the right play and the right play. Pick it up as soon as you can. You got five people out there for a reason. True. Here comes Corbin with the ball. Pass it to Gene. Gene from the corner. I like the shot though. It's open. Good shot. Good shot. You don't want to pass that up. Ball's coming down. You want to get your shooters in rhythm. Exactly. Tyson's wide open. Here comes Vaughn. Alright, ghost rider ball. Tyson's gonna get upset if he doesn't get this ball in the corner. Tyson's the kind of guy you gotta keep him involved. It starts defensively. I know for us, we put him on the best player last season, and it, it definitely helped his confidence. Oh, from Kai. So you see Kai Tyson on the yeah. shoot him from the corner. And, uh, yeah, those kind of guys that try hard and do the dirty work, you wanna get him anywhere between two to three shots. Right. Keep him involved, reward them for the hard work. Yeah, great job here, Ghost Rider gets the ball in transition. The game, good shot by Trayvon. Man, man, that's prick of the day, brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Nice. Lawrence said, ooh. Yeah, that's not that's okay with that. Hey, Tino, quicker, defense. quicker. Impromptu quicker. fouls, <laughs> a few bruises. Impromptu fouls. He's a good guy, though. He's a good, guy. He's a good player. Yeah, he plays with a lot of heart. He, he plays with a lot of heart, man. Yeah. Ball three, ball three. He's still losing his mind over here. Watch you. Dallas looking for someone open, but instead it's Von 2K with the steal. They go down. I want to get a timeout here soon. Right. Looks like they're facilitating the ball good. Ziggy to Vaughn. Vaughn. Oh, looks like he's... Yeah, that's a block. block yeah, if I'm, I'm going to get a timeout here. Talk about our offense right now because we just had Dallas posted up high close to the free throw line with SDK right next to him. There's no spacing on the floor. There's no identity. We don't know what we're doing offensively. Let's yeah, it's five. Right. I've never seen Tyson turn up a shot. Okay, well, there you go. And makes the midi. <laughs> kind of wants to get warmed up first. <laughs> give, uh, yeah. That's a good decision. Listen, in the 80s, that's a good decision. Give up the wide open three and the wide open two. Right. In this day and age of basketball, Anthony, for example, our GM, would be uh, highly upset with that. We gave up open three and oh, take yeah. a midi. Man, that's where the game is at now. <laughs> I get it, three is more than two, but. Ooh. That's an ineffective shot right now, inefficient rather. Right. And it just goes to show you that the mid-range shot is something not so easy. No, it's not practice either. If you get good at that midi, it opens up a lot. Because there's oh. a take by Ryan, man. That's oh, that was what you said. Right. Uno. Uno going nowhere. Go, go, go. Yeah. Rich taking it in. Oh, another one, Tito. They pass it to Lauriston. Hits a three. Oh, man, was looking much better that time offensively. Good job moving the ball around. That's what they need to do more. Yeah, and then a role player gets the ball for an open shot. Here we go. Dallas does a good job contesting the three. Come on, come on, come on. I did not know Zizay is 35 years old. What is he the really? hell is going on here? Yeah. I did not know that. I thought he was uh, not 30. Yeah. He hit me with 35. Oh, good luck. Oh, Larson with the rebound and put back by Steve the Kid. He's the kid yells at the crowd. The crowd is scared. <laughs> Come on, boys. Talking to the crowd, yeah, the little kids are scared of them. Blank faces. Blank stares. <laughs> There goes Tyson. Good tip out by Dallas. Here comes Dallas. Oh, steal by Ziggy. Ziggy up. goes up. Rebound. Can't hit. Oh, Tyson, Tyson gets the, the rebound. Pass the corner. Great Trayvon. Great Trayvon. Can't hit. Man, that would have been assist of the day. Out of bounds. Yeah, the Ghost Riders are doing a better job of facilitating the ball, and I feel like they should just keep doing that. They're getting people wide open. It's amazing what happens when you use all five of your guys. Exactly. It's almost like it's a team sport or something. Yeah. It's, it's almost like there's five people. I'm coming up.
Yeah, get out of here, Axel. <laughs> We got Axel on the court now. Here we go. Here we go. Should help them with the rebound. No, Berg should have stayed and forced him to get on the ball. On, can't hit. Gets his own rebound. Uh oh. Good job, dude. Good defense by the Panthers. No, let's see if Andre can keep up his streak of hitting the three a game. This guy is amazing. You should see him before every game. He's working on that same shot. And he gets in the game, the opportunity presents itself, and he hits it. Here comes G for three, and he hits it. That's the long sleeve swag. Yeah, that's a long sleeve swag. Reminds me of uh, Keenan Allen for the Los Angeles Chargers. <laughs> oh, so Treyway with Ooh, the Ooh, quick sidestep. On can hit. Action with the rebound. Oh, goes up with it. Doesn't get a foul. It's okay, buddy. Watch the man come, Sam. Sam with a great pass. Great Trey. pass. That's the assist of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. Oh, oh, great job, Sam. Wow. Great patience again. That's that togetherness that the Ghost Riders oh, 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 that's what was carrying them in the beginning of the season. That's Come what they on, need G. to get back to. They want to have to success. Come on, G. 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 Come on, I don't know why, but when Kaisi gets a bucket, like, it just makes me And with that timeout, we're going to go ahead and bring us in. We buy houses and mobile homes, any type, any condition, no equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. It's an interesting business. <laughs> pretty much a finder's fee. Go find a house, we'll pay you for it. That's pretty cool. Like, there was one position where you got like, I'm about to start finding houses now. <laughs> no, we're still talking about our game. Still talking about the Reaper game. Anyway, back to this game, the one that I want to focus on. I want to think about the loss. <laughs> hey, I mean, I can't blame you. It's a tough. 23 to 15. <laughs> I think ultimately we've, we've touched on it for both these teams. Ghost Riders need to keep playing as a team. Panthers need to figure something out offensively. They need to keep moving the ball around. They're letting the Ghost Riders move around freely through their defense. So again, that defense needs to figure it out for the Panthers, as well as their offense in this game, where they're going to find themselves in a, in a bit of a hole. Yeah, they need to limit the fouls as well. They cost 22 fouls, which gave the Reapers, you guys, three points. They really did. And you guys did a good job of uh, you know making those fouls happen. Yeah, we hit free throws last week. Man. We came back to the, we came back to our average. This game. Great pass to the bird. Pass it up, it up. Berg, it looks like he wants to shoot the three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so I'm so excited every time he pulls up. Now. I'm pretty sure he's gonna hit one at some point to keep the streak alive. Von 2K going downhill. Von yeah, 2K all the way up and in. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bait Shop. He's so athletic. He doesn't need much space. If he gets a lane, it yeah. takes one step and he's already at the basket. Which is why you got to cut that off. Uh, you got to do that proactively, not just wait for it. Good job, Tyson. Oh, wow. Tyson with the steal. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped to tell the ref he tried to trip. Tyson got to be the funniest player in the league. I've never seen that in my life. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they talking. Oh, they talking. Uh-oh, man. Every, every single game, there's been a little bit of beef. I'm uh, telling you. All right, so there's a few guys in this league whose game is to get under your skin, to just say the most outlandish shit, to do the most outlandish shit, just to get you out of your game. It's Kyle Arks. He's a little more subtle about it. He's like hip checking. And then there's Steve the Kid. Uno, Mr. Cowboy, whatever you want to call him. He's going to be very abrasive, up in your face. Why are we arguing with Kyson? 23 I don't know, but you know what I'm not going to argue? One Hop to Shop. One Hop to Shop is the official home of the Sully Nation League merchandise. And this, this week they had their first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t-shirts, and long sleeves. So contact the Sully Nation League on Instagram to place your order today. So I had to get that. No, you're good. I wonder, can we get a, I want to get like a... A hoodie with all of Steve the Kid's nicknames. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Yeah, all the nicknames, all the people that he just got in their head on the back. Oh, that would be great. Every free throw highlight. Can we put a arm. poll? Can we put like a voting poll and see who wants that? Yeah, everyone wants more Steve the Kid. He's like, he has the 90s wrestler attitude. Yeah, like, the, the SGK. Yeah, for real. Steakhouse. Good kick out by Chan. Oh, here comes Trayvon and hits it. 
Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ashes Bait Shop, followed up with the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Oh, might, be, might be problematic. That's not a foul. He lost the ball first, unfortunately. I know there was contact. Great job by the Ghost Riders. Again, working together. Okay, well, so much Trayvon working together. Deep and gets the end one! Vaughn 2K, but he catches a bad landing. Hold on, that's his ankle. Hold on. That is his ankle, and it does not look good here, folks. Be careful for the slip and fall brought to you by a Mott Law. He landed, he, he landed on the guy's ankle. Yeah. And that's oh, why man. that's why that's, we that's that's the the don't see. Right we don't like to speculate, but it doesn't look too good. That's, it last week it was a cramp, but this looks a lot worse. He, he, he landed on his ankle. Yeah. That's why we man, stress it's, that it's landing so space foul so much. That's why we look out for that and we try to avoid that as much as possible. You can't protect yourself when you're in the air and coming down. And it's so sad because it came off of a really good play. Yeah. Potential to shoot. I really, if I had to guess, it looks like a really bad sprain. Could be a high angle sprain the way he was grabbing that thing. Yeah. It looked pretty bad, man. Like, I mean, you got all your energy on the physics route. You got all your energy moving down on your weight yeah. on one focus point, which is your ankle with the joints. Yeah, it's not a good time at all with that turn. Like and then that. on top of that, he has to shoot his free throws before he can get off this court. I know he's in agonizing pain. Yeah, he's got to pull the Kobe here, man. I've rolled my ankles various times. And, uh, it does not feel good at all. No, not at all. I almost got my ankle rolled today by 1v1. Did not feel too good. That guy's got some moves, man. And he gets it. He's a warrior. Converts a three-point play and puts his team up by one. Yeah, that's a... Man, you hope for the best there for Vaughn. He's one of, our, one of our best players, man. Yeah, especially... Yeah, one of the Ghost Riders' best players as well, but they still have some good key no, players running, that running, can keep running, this running, in running. Looking at some ice. Yeah, they so can keep cool. I just stopped it for the oh, yeah, yeah. They still got some players that can keep them in this. We got Eric in the corner. Eric in the corner. Can't hit. That's the prick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Followed up by the sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Man, these are coming in back to back. Fouls on number 14. Does the shot count? It's not my fault. Did it? He's having a really tough time today. I know. I know. I, think I don't think that. I don't think the. I don't think the shot counted. It, it's up there now. Alright. Yeah. Yep. Kind of. Oh, it did. Okay. Got a hand Oh, I, I keep forgetting this. Is good. It's really. So it's 26, 24. Panthers are up right now. Craig and Dallas here. I like Craig. the matchup. Oh. Yeah, Dallas is a little taller than you than you think. So you stand by him and he's up. Uh, Oh, that was the brick of the day. Brought yeah, to you by Zane, the realtor. What was that? Oh, Here comes Axel. Not this is how nice pivot finds Trey. Oh! Sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. I'm pretty sure that was also the assist uh, of the day. Yeah, yeah brought to you by <laughs> We Buy Houses. We got two shoutouts in one play. That's great. Oh, This game is gonna be good. <laughs> it's already. I honestly didn't know that Trayvon could dunk like that. I really did it. At the end of the day, I've never dunked a day in my life. <laughs> Any dunk looks great to me. That's what I'm saying. I'm a big fan of that. I, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, I love threes. But to me, jams are just. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a whole part of the game I've it never experienced. You no, know, I, I can I've shot, I've dribbled, but I've never dunked, so I don't know what the game is like all the way. <laughs> Team with a little four point play. play. Eric with the rebound. Oh, gets the foul. There's a minute 32 left in this half. The game's tied. And Eric has a chance to put his team up. What's going on here, actually? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like hand fighting over there or something. Axel's one of my favorite players in the league, honestly. Last week, there's a great picture of him contesting my shot <laughs> with his middle finger. It was the uh, probably the best contest I've ever seen, best close I've ever seen in my basketball career. It's a great job. I just want to give Axel a shout out. He's the heart and soul of this Ghost Rider team. <laughs> Comes Eric, misses both, keeps it a tie game. Ryan back in the game. Ryan finds Trayvon. Trayway can't hit, but Chan. That's a great oh. follow by Chan. Got to hit it. Ish taking it in all the way. 
a lot of people don't want to get in front of him when he builds up that momentum. The crazy thing is, Ish used to be so skinny, man. He used to be so thin, and then... Ryan gets an and one! That's your sweet fish of the day! Oh, never mind. Let me take that back. Let me save my energy. I was on Gene here. Gene hurts himself on the foul. Man, I got hyped for no reason. <laughs> Ash, make sure he deletes that. Oh, let's go. Hey, yeah, see the kid checking in for Eric here. Oh my goodness. Nick, stop talking about players. What? Oh. Ryan's logic. The line is a great shooter to see if, him, if he can hit these shots. Yeah, there he is. What a surprise. First pass it to Ish. Ish takes it up and gets another one. Another one. If you give Ish the ball in a downhill situation, he's at a, he is at his strength there. Tyson for three. Tyson for three, and he answers back. Oh my goodness! And on the topic of strength, <laughs> if you get Tyson involved in the corner, he can hit that shot. Oh. They're doing all this about ball. Oh, you're right. And hey, they they they. I mean, they could possibly get it done without him. We hope he's okay, though. I wonder, if, can anyone see? Oh, I can see he's him. Up, he's up. He's up. I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to do much lateral movement. All right, if anything, i be smart. It's a regular season. Let your team, yeah, it's regular season. You just have to have a top three record. This right. can't be the worst team in the conference. Exactly. Plus, your team's not doing too shabby. And they get it! Oh, my God. Oh, it's, it's on the floor. Lucky is on the floor. One and one. Man, it's hard. To, it's beautiful. Real dumb. Post production. It's, it's so hard to call these because it look, to me it looks like they go up. It's a shooting foul, but it's a yeah, on it's, the floor foul. So it gets, gets confusing. It's a little tough, man. It, it, our refs are working on recognizing. That, it, it, don't, if, if I'm not mistaken, in the NBA, they just call that. Yeah, in the NBA, once you start your gather, what happens after, let's say a foul happens at the beginning of the gather, it's called continuation. So you get all the way up to the shot attempt. The conclusion of the shot attempt, as long as you're already going into one. Right. Whereas us, once you no, hit the rim. So right. unless you're actually shooting, you don't get that call here. Right. Okay, it's for players not to abuse that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That. Oh. It makes it, well, the NBA started that rule to to increase the number of points scored in each game with the physicality of the game that they had in the 90s and 2000s. So just to just to help with the scoring and the entertainment aspect of it, that's why. And there's your little bit of history by Chris. They can't. Good take there, Chan. Come on, Chan. Fritz is out there stomping. Oh, here comes Eric. 32 for both sides. And he can't hit. Oh. Ish with the, with the uh, control of this ball. Dribbles in between two. Takes it up again. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure that Ish was made this last three shots all at the basket. That's a foul by Eric. He did. One and one. Seven, seven. Ish is doing like a really that foul, good man. 18, 18, 18. It's a bad foul by Eric. It's a one and one. You don't need to foul there. You should just get back, be in position, defend. It's a tie game. You don't want to give them any free points right now and any momentum going in the half. So I don't know why you really foul there. She one and one. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know if you should foul there. You should probably let them play. Yeah, just go, go play through, defense. Yeah. See, now they get a chance at a rebound. Trayvon from the That's three. Good defense by Fritz. And he hits it. Oh, my goodness. That's good D better O, man. Oh, yeah, now I'm starting to believe they would have Trayvon. Definitely would have won that game. Oh, All right. Well, with that, we'll go ahead and take you to our sponsor. I got no time for these other rappers Using too many napkins and not enough practice And I can't keep running Can't keep running Round and round in circles You keep begging, begging, begging Cause you know but I can't say no I wanna make love in the morning I'm nervous Used to play the victim more but that shit had to stop I don't wanna run away And we're back with the fake headphones. <laughs> and we're also back with game three of week six of the fifth season of the Southern Nation League against the Ghost Riders, sponsored by One Hop to Shop, and the Panthers, sponsored by Chris Scalco. And so far, it's been a very close game. <laughs> That's just great. <laughs> the Southern League's all about love for me. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's all about love here in Southern They need him down the stretch of Looks like the Ghost Riders are up by three. Ghost Riders won ten. Yo, it's purple ball. The black got the tip. Figuring out who's gonna get the tip. Is it the Ghost Riders? We're confused right now. That is correct. Okay, yep, it is Ghost Riders in the ball. Damn it, Tone. Why am I asking you? Why are you asking me? Ask your refs. He has one Damn job. It, Josue. And here we go. Vaughn is back. Vaughn is back. Vaughn is back. He up the ankle. He did. 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 As long as you can keep it stable. I should yeah. be able to play. For the rest of the game. I'm not game. even mad at that shot. It's Tyson. Let him take it. Good shot. Good shot. That's a good shot. But, uh, yeah. Well, his ankle seems all right. He's got a jump ball. Oh, Yep. Sweet. Next jump ball is going to be the Ghost Rider. Here comes Fritz. Had a really good game last game as well. Was their Panthers player of the game. Dallas with a midi. Oh, Dallas. I'm telling you, man. Get this man involved. Good Makes things happen. Easy. Here comes Vaughn. 2K. Finds Ryan. Ryan to Trey. Trey Way hey, taking it up. Go? Finds Adam. So that's the assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses, and it's an and one. Love this team. Love Axel. They trust each other. The best player trusting the fifth player in the state, like that. And then getting so high for him when he does hit that. Who's the foul on? It shows you the team chemistry. It shows you that they heard a win. It shows you that they're supportive of each other. That's what you need in your team. Exactly right. As he converts the animal. Right now. If you give him momentum, you hype him up, he makes that free throw for you. Fan favorite action. Oh, yeah. He's a good guy. This is a really good lineup here of Tyson, Trey, Vaughn, oh, Axel, yeah, and, uh, oh, and Ryan. It's all right, but again, yeah, no, to your point, this is a great lineup right here. You have, honestly, a lot of good scorers and rebounders. And then you have a good mix of everything right now. You got a guy that can just get the ball to you and say, go get a bucket. You got two of those, actually, with Trey and Vaughn. You got guys to rebound here with Trey and Axel. Guys to play defense with Axel, Trey, and Tyson. The smartest player in the court right now is Ryan. Yep. So, he can facilitate the ball. Tyson can shoot it from the corner. Panthers. Uh, this is pretty much the same lineup they have. They, they still have to figure out their defense. It's been the same thing every week. They can figure that out for a few minutes and get a run going. They'll be okay. Andre Bird with the rebound. Oh, man. He's scoring, though. Kid diving on the floor. Oh, out. see the kid. They're down one man. They're looking to take advantage of it. Oh, oh, oh blocked by Dallas. Wow. Get back, get back. Great pass to Axel. If you have the same mentality, just one more kill. Ryan looks to slow the pace down, which I agree with. Taking it in. Thank you. That's a good decision to slow the game down for them. Slay, you got some four point game right now. And plus, you're in the lead. They have time to work. Yeah, you're not in a rush. You don't need to be in a rush right now. Be the Ghost Riders. Fritz takes up. I don't know about that pull up shot. He's gonna lose the games, man. Oh, here comes Vaughn. Two K. Two v one. Can he get it? No, but actually there with the rebound. Oh. <laughs> a lot of the ghost are trying to go up. I love the unselfishness, but Axel's got... Oh! oh. Damn. Oh, that's a slip and fall of the day. Brought to you by a Mott Law. Be careful with the banana peel out there. Man, we're playing Mario Kart out here. Silly <laughs> League. The Ghost Rider sponsored by Toad, Mario, Bowser, and the rest of the Nintendo <laughs> Kingdom. Yo, the Ghost Riders are careful. Uh, All the players are going to get hurt. You good, Kai? Got a ball right up the ass. <laughs> All right, we're inbounding here. Andre Berg. Andre Berg finds Dallas. Dallas. Dallas turns around for the shot. Can't hit. To have the layup, give it up for me. 2K Vaughn, he has numbers, but just has to go up with it. Can't hit. I guess another thing about Vaughn, he gets a little. Let me just relax. He has Sean for the three point shot, which Sean has made a couple of times. 
And that's the Ghost Riders ball. Good defense by Big Ray. Very good defense. A smart decision there. It's, the ball got stuck in the corner. Pressure the ball in the corner. Good things will happen for your defense. I know how Vaughn plays. Comes Vaughn 2K. Imagine I had him inside. I like his shoes. And him and, uh, three. Close up three. Can't hit. He was a little off balance. Just there. get out the way. Yep. Everyone get out of oh, the way. Let's change this thing. Oh, oh Chan's got to hit that though. He's got the oh. side. Good rebound attempt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oops, Wait, whose ball is you know, that? You'd, you'd like to see Chan dribble, power dribble into some balance right, yeah. to go up strong instead, instead of, of trying. Yeah, yeah. instead of like just floating through. Like yeah, he would have right knocked. Yeah. Whoever decided to play defense would have been out of the play. Yeah, embrace the collision. Embrace it. Embrace the physicality. Yep. Impose your will if you can. Yeah, you got a turnover here by the Ghost Rider. We know you're the stronger one down there. Oh, there here you go. comes Gene. Gene. Great pass. Oh, can't make it. It's a good pass, though. Oh! oh! Slip and fall. Brought to you by Mott Law. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not going to see him like that. I think he got stepped on or something. He slipped on some sweat. Either way. <laughs> but it was a crazy oh, oh, It was. Hey, how much more I got? But you know what's even more crazier? That. The grooming gallery. This is Orlando's premier barbershop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. Shoot them a DM at The Grooming Gallery to book your appointment today. Good, uh, very good diction there, my yeah. friend. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I got a bachelor's degree in that, so hopefully. There we go. Well, some people, uh, words aren't their strong suit. Well, I'm still practicing. It's not going to name names or anything. <laughs> but, uh... If you're going to say Vaughn 2K, he already admitted Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> he told I me. Gonna... I love Vaughn. Vaughn and Uno. He told me straight up. He's like, hey, you got the ad reach, brother. And I was like, I got you. Here, it's you not like a little It's not buttoned up or anything. It's just off the cuff. They're just having fun. I think that's that's the appeal of the Uno and Vaughn commentary. Oh, I, I love that. Yeah, I do, too. I love it's those. straight up just, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a player's perspective almost. You know, right. They sit there. They talk trash. They say fun. Stuff. I actually enjoy it. Yeah, me too. It's a love. They have such a love for the to watch basketball. And, and Steve says he, he might be the you know, one of the best commentators in Southern Nation. And I don't know. I kind of agree with him. He's funny. No, you, you know, he knows how to get the crap behind think, him. I think Steve surprises a lot of people because he actually makes some very valid basketball points when he's he talking. And it's like, oh. But he does it in a very exciting way. Yeah. And then he gets on the court and he's a whole different persona. He turns into that wrestler, man. Yep. Oh, no. I like Steve. I like, I like commentators. He's fun. We got going. <laughs> I think it's the Panthers ball. Panthers ball. Yep. Come on, Eric. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Let's see if the Panthers could cut this lead down a little bit further. It's only a six-point game. What think happened here? Here's Fritz taking it up. Oh, hits the bottom of the basket right into two, on 2K's hands. He goes up. Oh, oh. Falls down and that's a block. That's a block. Yep. Once again, there's a block. Man, thank God. I don't think. I think he's in the restricted zone. Wait, wait. I think he's in the restricted Wait, I can't change it anyway. I can't change that call. Cause I saw a block on that one. He's sliding into him first of all, and he's also in the restricted area. Both those things working against the defender. Now, normally I side with the defense. Let's be real. But in this particular case, this was almost certainly a blocking foul. Good effort by Eric. It's never easy trying to take a charge. It's very it hurts, to be real. But I think that's a block. I think that's a good call by Nick. It was also a good take by Vaughn to go in there and put his body on the line. But I don't know if you want to do that. I'll be all being injured. Here's Chan. Oh. You know, if I'm Chan, I'm happy with that take. Just got to make it. Oh, Vaughn, there, Vaughn comes up with the steal. They got numbers. Vaughn goes up and in. Sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Gets the steal and then converts. Great job by Vaughn. Yeah, the Panthers don't really have a defender who can deal with Vaughn's athleticism as Fritz takes the three. Oh, and that is the brick of the day brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Shoot them right out of his game. Sean bringing the ball down. Good job by Ghost slowing it down. If he's sitting down, he's done. Ghost wants his team to settle in. Oh, but instead he misses the wall, take away from Eric. Oh, can't 
finish. Rick of the day. Rick of the day brought to you by Zane the real thing. Oh, man. Sean can't finish. All right, we got some captain on captain crime. Yeah. Captain on viewer crime, too. <laughs> is, uh, he's misled. Team for three. Oh, in and out. Almost, almost. Fighting for the ball. Vaughn gets it. Oh, my goodness. Man, back to back turnovers. They got a lot of airplay in the last minute and a half. It's not all great. They did. Oh, last minute decided to go up for it. Oh, we're just going to slap at the ball for the Ghost Riders, I guess. Gene with the ball up top. Good time for Gene. His mid range shot is actually something that people see. I think two or three. Ball to K again with the ball. Good handles. Oh, he's really good. Oh, good pass. Ghost with the three. And he hits it. That's the assist of the game. Brought to you by Levi House. Listen, between last week, he lit us up for, I think it was four out of five threes. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, Ghost has been hitting a lot of a lot of good shots. Three for six. Three for six from three. Yeah. So 50%. I mean, come on. That's not bad. He is, uh, and now, I mean, with that one, he's... Oh! Three-point shot by Vaughn 2K. It's getting out of control. Oh, it's getting out of control. 48-36. And with that, we got to go ahead and do these timeouts. We buy houses. We buy houses and mobile homes, any type, any condition. No equity, no problem. We work fast. We use cash, and there's no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. And you guys don't have that phone number memorized by now, just go back. Go back. Just rewind and keep listening to it. My boy's not going to repeat it. Oh, man. It's a great read, my friend. Great read. They should hire you. They should give you some kickbacks. You're doing a great job here. I might be keeping you a while. That's the goal. Man, if I'm the Panthers here, I don't know why I'm living with these threes. And I'm fouling, I'm speeding up, I'm not playing defense, I'm giving them wide open threes. These are not the factors that you consider when you're trying to win a game. So we'll see if they can turn that stuff around. It's going to have to be one thing at a time going for the Panthers. If I'm Eric, I'm trying to focus on the easiest thing to take care of right now, which is our defensive effort. And this is where you start to tread into some scary water. You know, you really want to get you know, for the most part, keep it a close game, but the yeah. Panthers haven't been able to here, so. Well, you're not going to match, this is the thing, you're not going to match the Ghost Riders' ability to shoot. Right. When Vaughn is hot, when Trey is hot, when Ryan's in the court, too, if Ghost is hitting shots, there's four guys right there hitting shots. Chan can hit shots, too. So you got five guys out there at any time. And then you got Kaisen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's hit two threes today. Yeah. So if that's the game that they're going to play, if I'm the Panthers, I'm not trying to play into that. I can't shoot with them. So let me do something different. Let me slow the game down. Let me increase my defensive intensity, make it harder for them to do that. And um, try to get Vaughn to turn the ball over. You know, jump him on those pick and rolls instead of letting him use them and just freely, but right now, I mean, the next 11 minutes and 20-something seconds, yeah. I'm going to need them to figure it out. Yep, they need to figure it out. And it was Great job by Ish. That's another thing. Ish going to the basket's been working. Oh, and there's a three. Right Keep going. Here comes Chan. Knock it down. Passed it to Ryan. Ryan. Oh. Ryan thought that one of them was going to cut, but instead they were asking for a three-point shot. Yeah, they just want him to take the shot. They just want him to take the shot. No, I get what Ryan's saying. Ryan's saying just cut and you have a layup, which is fair. Yeah, but, but the, right now they're hopping the Yeah, but they want, they want, exactly. They want to see Ryan make a shot. They're just trying to get the board. Dallas is great. That's good defense, but it doesn't matter because Dallas. Ball's gone. Ball's gone already. Ball's gone already, Dallas. Relax. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Hey, uh, right up. Oh, that was a nice little step back. No, Couldn't hit, and that's the brick of the day. <laughs> that's the brick of the day brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Zane, nothing. I love him to death. Great player. Oh, and see the kid goes up. Can't hit. Oh, you can't get frustrated after that. If not, you're going to beat that race. Tyson. Tyson's got eight points today, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. It's a three, a three. I think he might have ten. It's a great game by Kaisen. Great job by the Ghost Riders trusting each other. This is a really good, this is a really good uh, team that's on the floor right now for the Ghost Riders. Dallas for three, can't hit. Kaisen again, adding to the statue with a rebound. 
Who was he? He, he was on a different team before this, right? They oh. traded him. Tyson? Yeah, Tyson, Tyson he, he started on the dogs. On the dogs, yeah. He got traded to the Magician. It's at 50. It's at 50. Then got traded again to the Ghost Rider. I have 50 to 39 right, so on he here. He went from team to team to team, yeah, and now it looks like he's finding a good fit here. Yeah, it's delayed. I, I have 50 to 39. There's two teams that... Tyson's there it is. It's this team and um, they're in the Reapers because of defense. Right. But yeah, this team, this team is really is doing a good job of accentuating what he does well. Trey over here from three again. From three gets it. Oh my God! Trey Vaughn having a hell of a game today. He might get pretty ugly pretty quick now. Oh, it can. Fifty-three to thirty-nine. They're trying to bury them here. Here comes Dallas. All right. Well, that's the question shot, shot by Dallas. Ryan's Ryan. Ryan was off balance, try to get it off and cause a turnover. Steve the kid all by himself. And that's easy. Ziggy Zay with the uh, with the fake block attempt there. <laughs> Gave him a little hop. Yeah, we want to see uh, we want to see Ryan not turn the ball over many times. Good pass. Good pass to Trey. Oh, to Ziggy actually. Ziggy got it. That's a good shot. Oh, no. It is a foul on him. Thank you, Jose. Get that foul call. Sub or no? And Summer. man, 53 to 41, the Ghost Riders really doing yeah, a good job here. Just because it looked like y'all. Can I stand? Yeah, Coach can stand. Ziggy makes his first shot. Great shot, Ziggy. Yeah, if you're not going to hit the layup off the beautiful pass, you better hit these people. Oh, yeah. This time they're selling for three. But man, that was a great pass by Ryan. He has a good set of eyes on him. Yeah, they just don't go. And that's why I say it's both of them. Great job, Ziggy Zay. Ish with the ball. Could have had. Gene up here open. Yeah, they're not, they're not looking, man. Yeah, they're not. This is, oh, Tyson. That's a oh, oh, another turnover. Oh, Chan with the crisscross applesauce. Steal. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here comes Tyson all the way. Oh, can't hit. That's the brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Good take, Ish. And Ish shows him how to do it. All right, we got a timeout by the Ghost Rider. That's a great job by the Panthers. Turning the ball over to, uh, rather, turning the Ghost Riders over and then attacking in transition. And with that, we'll go to One Hop to Shop. This is the official home of the Selling Nation League merchandise. This week, they had the first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Selling Nation League on Instagram to place your order today. So, why is it every time something happens with Uno? We happen to be on the one hop to shop time out read. Because he just got into it with Axel. I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea. If I'm Eric, I'm trying to calm my guys down. Let's get us focused. Let's not get out of our game. We got Joel here in the huddle helping out yeah, the helping Panthers. Out. Yeah, I was about to say that. He's been helping. He, hey, hold up now. Because two weeks ago, Joel was helping the Ghost Riders, and now he's helping the Panthers. What type of shit is this? Hey, man. He just likes to spread the knowledge. You know, and, you know, in all fairness, I want every team to be at their best. You know, I want us all to be playing the best version of basketball we can. And I like the community the feel to it as well. But Of course. But rules are rules, and Joel can't be on the bench if Tone can't be on my bench. <laughs> And that's all I gotta say about it. That's all. And the Ghost Riders with the ball now. Comes Vaughn to game. Goes up with a floater. Oh my goodness, that's a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. That was a nice one. I like the I'm a big fan of floaters. Yeah, I'm a big fan. In the words of BDM, that floater brought to you by the movie It. We all float down here. Great job, bud. <laughs> BDM was fun to call the game with a couple games ago. Yeah, I got a little, little setup dribble by Dallas. We got Ish on the right wing. Ish is going to attack. Oh, that was a good job That's by Trey and Ryan to great cause defense. basically a wall. And we got a three from Trey. It looks like he's hot from that corner. Trayvon is hot. This is wild, man. 
Oh my goodness. This is the problem. There's this no team is a lot different when they have Trayvon on. It really is. Oh, this team's a lot different. Oh. That's a blocking foul by This team's a lot different when they're not facing defensive pressure. And again, the Panthers have yet to, face, to give them any defensive look that bothers them. I haven't seen one rotation out there from the Panthers that has bothered a single Ghost Rider possession. The Ghost Riders have turned the ball over because of their own rushing, but if they take their time and just get whatever shot they want. You know, I think I, have the, I think I have the answer to that. You know what it is? They right. don't have to just focus the defensive priorities on top of the pawn. That's they have fair. to worry about Trayvon. They have to worry about Ryan. They have to worry about these other key players. And now it's starting to make it a lot difficult. Look at that. Oh, my. They, they cannot stop this man. Here's the other thing that... I'm noticing here, every catch that Trayvon has this game has been easy. There's been no denial defensively. There's been no making him work off the ball. It's just letting him catch the ball comfortably. And then you've already lost at that point. You can get wherever he wants on the court. Before even catching the ball, you're in trouble. And that's what you're seeing here. He's able to move without even contact or anything. Like, Trey made it. It's just not, it's not good defense, man. And I, like I said, I think they just need to focus their defense and shift it towards the player that's hot right now. That's exactly right. And but if they not. do, they run the risk of running out. Another player who could possibly you know, at go this hot point, At this point, here's what we know. We know that Trey's going to get his teammates involved. And we know that he's going to get any shot he wants. I take my chances with Vaughn. I understand he can go nuclear, but I take my chances helping out on him as opposed to letting Trey do whatever he wants and opening everyone else around him as well. Right. And I 100% I, I agree. That may help them cut this That's lead. Foul by Chad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was a foul. That was a, yeah, it was a he clear, definitely clear hit him. Right yeah, it's on the shot. That is also fair. The hand is part of the ball. However, oh, yeah, if right. there is this lodging involved, the ball gets dislodged out of the hand, and it's egregious enough, it's up to the referee to call that. Sway felt that it was enough to call that foul, but Chance has got to play through it. And as any experienced player would, they're going to contest that call. All right, we got an unfor unforced turnover here. <laughs> that was a bad turnover there. But you know, if this, is, if this is part of the Panthers' plan, this might work. Just let them throw it out of bounds. It might. Right, what we got here? <laughs> Bird, Bird. Oh, man, finds Fritz in the corner. It looks, oh man, they had an issue open at the three point line. Who's still waiting on Dre to get his three? If we're just going to play this version of basketball, you might as well give Dre a three. Right. Oh, Sean Kerr, oh. That's a foul by that's Ghost. Foul, yep. Oh no, that's a foul on. Who got that on? I think it was. I think it was a reach. Yeah, it is on Ghost. Okay. He did bump. Uh, okay. Ish was open uh, at the their last play, line. right? Yeah. 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 There was open there. I don't think they were able to see him. Corbin no. open for a three point shot and hits it. Good player, man. He's been their best player today on both ends of the floor, honestly. I like the way he takes the jump shots. You kind of have to like ride your hot hand. He's, he's their only hot hand. That's a big shot. That's a good shot. You know, yeah. I wish that Ryan would miss shots like that against my team. <laughs> that's a foul. It's a lot of reaching going on, but they're going to let him play. See, that's why you call the foul because they lost That was a bad pass. Oh, here comes Trayvon. He's going up and in. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. It's two dunks now for him. It is. It must be nice. Another one. Hey, man, you live with that shot. In now. Here comes if nobody else wants to join him. I can see him taking it up. Yeah, he's feeling hot. Why not? Oh, on the floor because of no continuation. Yep. No continuation, but man, he, you're right. There, like if they really can't stop him, he's gonna score at will wherever he wants. They really can't do nothing about it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make it hard. At the end of the day, no, 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 no. in basketball, you're already at disadvantage defensively. You don't know what the offense is gonna do, and chances are, you know, the, the rules are already slanted toward them. Oh, oh. Vaughn went up for it, it they great. got a foul. It's a shooting foul, Vaughn. Hey, is it one? It's Barry. one for one. one uh, that's the, the only thing I get confused with. What's up? It's Raylan. one for Raylan. every shooting Raylan. foul. So, uh, it was when you're, if it's a shooting foul, it's two shots. Two shots automatically. Automatically, yeah. Uh, that foul counter up there, once one team gets to seven, then if a foul after seven, or including the seventh foul, is a one. Hey. Yep. Yep. And then you get to ten, and then it's two. Ah, okay, I see. We're still running out here, folks. Oh, man, Fritz can't hit that. That's brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Here comes Trayvon all the way. Oh, Got another nice unforced turnover by the Ghost Riders. Right off the foot. 
I know he wants to take it in. I think he's been a little bit too stingy. Maybe he could pass the ball up on that one, find another yeah. one for himself. Good pass there. Good shot there. Here. Hits it. Great job. It, I don't know. Okay. See, this is why I get frustrated with the Panthers. They have that available every single time. Why not do it every single time? You attack, time? you got a shooter, just kick it. I don't know why they don't like it. Or just something out of that look. Uh-oh. Trayvon again. He has to be the Platinum Player of the Week. Brought to you by Chris Scalco. I'm going to put his name up there right now. This man is just... This man's doing the damn thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. It just came in. He has 32 points right now. You would have had a better chance. Man. Oh, here he comes again. Pass it to go. Oh, that was such a good pass. Oh, that was a great pass, but those couldn't get to it in time. Man, 32 points. Yep. That is insane. 32 points. And just like and you said, anyone could go hot at it. Just like you said it, anyone could go hot at this moment. It was him. Oh, oh, oh wow. Damn it, Ryan. <laughs> They're making great passes. Man. Something's up with Ryan. Good shot, Gene. Hey, I'm not mad at this shot. At this point, you might as well just take every shot that's there. Yeah, 71 to 53. All right, we got a little bump shot. I don't know why you. Why? Are you, I don't know. Okay. You as a coach, you use this as a coaching moment. I mean, there's a lot to of make better plays. There's a lot up. that I would look at if I'm going up the state. And we, we over at the Reapers, we do break down tape every week. Right. If I'm Eric this week and I'm breaking this tape down, I'm starting with the defensive side. What the hell are we doing defensively? We're letting them get comfortable. We know what they like to do. We know what they want to do. And the first thing they want to do is get outside shots. So why would you allow a team to do what they're comfortable doing first and foremost? Right. Try your best to make them uncomfortable and see what happens from there. And that's not what's happening. And then offensively, we're just playing too much hero ball. Right. And today it was it was the Dallas and Fritz, and then yeah. Ish for like a three to five minute span. We went away from Ish downhill. We went away from moving the ball. And when we actually move the ball, we attack and kick out to the three. We get good shots. I'll live with a missed shot. That's a good one. Right. Andre Burr getting fouled by Chan. There's that three. It doesn't count, but it's still, you know, he's still there. Great job, Andre. Uh, uh, Sway tricked me. I thought you said count. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? They can't do that. That's a great job there by Andre Berg hitting that st side step three. Wilding. For all credit to the Ghost Riders. Absolutely. The Ghost Riders came in here and they, they shot by Gene again. It's a great job by the Ghost Riders imposing their will, playing their game. Great job by Treyway leading them. Oh, man. It's good to see Vaughn. He's okay as far as Vegas is concerned. Good enough to make that layup. Sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashton Bake Shop. There it is. And that, and that is the game. 73-56. Yeah, it was really awesome. Ghost Riders improved to 3-3. Three and three. Panthers dropped to 3-3. Three and three. Wow, that was a hell of a game. I can't wait to see what's next in store. And yeah, yeah, thank you once again for uh, calling the game with me. I appreciate you, man. Good game by both teams. At the end of the day, one team executed and played together, the other didn't. Great job, Ghost Riders. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, tune in for next game.